Welcome again, everybody, to the 14 Monstrous Nights of Halloween. We are on day number four, and we'll be kicking it off with a wonderful double feature of King Kong and the Son of Kong. In the famous movie King Kong, we find our main cast of the crew of the SS Venture traveling to the mysterious Skull Island in search of of fame and fortune. While there they instead find a mysterious village of natives along with a jungle filled with many different kinds of animals. Amongst them dinosaurs, giant insects, and other ferocious monsters. But all pale in comparison to the mighty King Kong, the King of Skull Island. Enticed by the prospect of wealth and fortune, our crew capture King Kong and bring him to civilization where he soon escapes and causes havoc in a thrilling conclusion between man, beast, machine, and nature. And thus ends our first movie, King Kong. The sequel, Son of Kong, finds our crew of the SS Venture returning to Skull Island in search for a hidden treasure lost among the ruins of the ancient civilizations. They instead find a curious thing, the son of King Kong, a kindly giant gorilla known as Kiko. And it is up to man and beast to try and survive what remains of the horrible island and to survive the terrible creatures that still reside in this forbidding and foreboding place. Well, folks, I'm glad you were able to join me today. In closing, I just want to again recommend both of these movies to you guys. Both of them are very fun, you know. A lot of people have seen the original 1933 King Kong. Obviously, it's a very good movie. But I do think that the sequel, Son of Kong, gets overlooked. Partially because it's a shorter movie. Partially because it's not as impressive as the original. But if you over, you know, if you look at it on its own, based on its own values, own uh, effects, then I think you'll find it's a very satisfying movie. A very fun little thing. The interactions that you see between the uh, main cast of human characters and these various monsters and how these monsters interact with each other are really the stuff of history, you know? The stuff of legends. You get to see gigantic, almost otherworldly beasts fight against each other and struggle for survival. And honestly, that's kind of what yeah, that's an important part of what monster movies are. The primal struggle between man and beast, and between forces of nature. But folks, that's about all I gotta say on this movie. And I want to recommend both of these movies to you guys again. I'm very glad that you joined me tonight, and I'll see you again tomorrow on the next monstrous night of Halloween. Bye-bye. <laughs>